Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on algebra. We have a system of equations of logarithms. Logarithm of x squared with base 2 plus logarithm of y squared with base 2, that's equal to 10. The square of the logarithm of x with base 2 plus the square of the logarithm of y with base 2, that's equal to 17. We're asked the value of logarithm of x to the 4th with base y plus logarithm of y to the 4th with base x. Now this item came from DAM 2022 an examination that Thumblet has hosted. The link to the PDF file will be in the description. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. All right, so we have a system of equations, but we do have some terms that involve logarithms. And let's try to do some manipulation on some of these terms here. Now, because of the second equation, uh, we kind of have um, log x and log y with base 2 and based from what I'm seeing from the first equation we can kind of use the properties of logarithms and I could manipulate this one into something similar to the second one so with the, uh, with the property of exponents that I could bring this one to the front so I'll have 2 logarithm of x with base 2 plus 2 logarithm of y with base 2 that's going to be equal to 10 I could divide both sides by 2 and I'll get logarithm of x with base 2 plus the logarithm of y with base 2, that's going to be equal to 5. Now, why is this similar to the second one? It's because uh, it's technically an equation that involves logarithm of x and logarithm of y with base 2. All right, that kind of motivates us to hopefully manipulate this one, or the thing you want to get, into something in terms of log x with base 2 and log y with base 2. Now, obviously, we could do the similar thing. We could put the 4 into the front because that's an exponent. We can actually factor out the 4. So it's going to be 4 times logarithm of x with base y plus logarithm of y with base x. We could do a step further and use the change of base formula because we could make this as logarithm of x with any base. But then again, um, based on what we have here, we're dealing with um, a lot of logarithms with base 2. So chances are um, we would use uh, logarithm with base 2 here as well for the change of base. So uh, same thing for the log y with base x, log y with base 2 divided by log x with base 2. All right, so after some manipulation, um, the, given is just similar, uh, the given is just the same as this one. So as mentioned, we do have some expressions, uh, sorry, equations in terms of log x with base 2 and log y with base 2. And the thing we're trying to get is in terms of log x with base 2 and log y with base 2 as well. So that really motivates us to try the substitution to kind of simplify some of the things here. Let's try to say a is going to be logarithm of x with base 2 and let b to be logarithm of y with base 2. Now if I make the substitution, this will be the resulting um, system of equations here. So a plus b equals 5, a squared plus b squared equals 17, and I'm asked the value of 4 times a over b plus b over a. All right. So this is now kind of a simple algebraic manipulation question because, well, this might be familiar to some. Uh, the thing that we're asked, we could manipulate it as, let's write it in one fraction, a squared plus b squared divided by ab. So the a squared plus b squared, that's already 17. We know that. So the 17 uh, is there, and then we just kind of have to find a way to find ab. Now, ab is not that difficult to find because we have these two squaring the first one. That's going to give us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. That's going to be equal to 25. But we know a squared plus b squared, that's 17. So 2ab, that's going to be equal to 25. Moving the 17 to the other side, that's going to be minus 17. So 2ab is apparently equal to 8. So ab over here must equal 4, right? Then it's just really a matter of um, solving for um, the result. We could cancel out the 4. So we're going to get the answer of 17. And this is indeed the final answer. Now, if you don't want to use this method, or if you, found, if you find a different method, that's also okay. Now, what do I mean by the different method here? Uh, you could do some trial and error here, actually, because in this system of equations, we could just easily trial and error for a and b, because a and b are very nice values, a equals 4, b equals 1, or vice versa. So we could just kind of directly substitute it into this one as well. So, well, I mean, this is also okay. I think it's a, a, a lot faster, but, you know, um, for the essence of the question, uh, probably they intended, um, I intended you guys to use the algebraic manipulation for this item. But nevertheless, 
uh, we're still gonna get the answer of 17 if you use the manipulation method or just you're able to find or kind of trial and error guess um, guess the values of a and b out but that's also okay anyways hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye